this is Edmund from Sports Trading AI. So let's take a look at the case study for today. Uh, okay, so for the first match, we are looking at German Bundesliga for the match between uh, VfL Wolfsburg versus uh, Union Berlin. Okay, so this match was a clear cut uh, banker bet opportunity. So handicap was quarterball, opening odds uh, 1.88 in favor of the home team. And then Hots movement went up by 10 cents in favor of the home team. STI formula, it was marginal home win. Okay. And then for this, um, this, uh, goal scoring average, you can see that the home team has got a one goal superior average. So meaning, um, this, uh, 1.67 versus uh, 0.67. And more importantly, this, away team uh, didn't score so at uh, offering the handicap at quarter ball is like a uh, risking 50 cents to win a dollar okay so pretty straightforward and even though this uh, Wolfsburg scored um, five goals in the last uh, three home games and then you take a look at the legend it looks like uh, because the home team scored one goal and then away team scored zero goals it pretty much look like either one nil or two nil or two one kind of result, and then head to head, uh, meaning it was uh, home win in favor. A match up both teams actually lost, okay. So uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, all five uh, banker bet factors were in favor of the home team, okay. So this match is pretty straightforward. Okay, let's take a look at the other match. Huh? Okay, so for the other. Uh, banker bet opportunity. It was uh, Nuremberg versus uh, Hamburg. Uh, this was a uh, German Division Two. Okay, so <coughs> handicap initially was a uh, quarter ball at uh, one point eight eight odds in favor of the home team, and then the odds movement went up to around two dollars, and then went up to a uh, half ball handicap. Okay, so odds movement plus twenty cents in favor of the home team. Formula it was a draw. So basically. Um, in favor of the home team as well since we are accepting the handicap and then for goal scoring average you can see that the home team has got a <clears throat> 1.67 uh superior goal average okay and then for the head to head it was a draw okay so this one is also a very clear cut uh banker bet opportunity but then just like the other game so the other game the the goal scoring average was Pretty, uh, I mean, the legend uh, for the last goal scored was quite accurate, like one versus zero, right? So this one, uh, blue color means two goals. The last whole game they scored two goals, and then the away team actually scored one goal. So the full time result was two versus one. Okay, pretty straightforward as well. But in any case, since we're accepting the handicap, uh, <clears throat> it was a very easy win. Okay, and number actually scored first. Okay, and then the matchup it was win versus a draw. So the matchup is like a a bonus, like you know. Okay, no, no definitive uh, guide there, but then if you're offering handicap and the matchup is lose versus the opponent accepting the handicap, which is win, uh, then you need to need to take note of that, uh, Okay, but typically if you're the team that's offering handicap typically you want like a win versus a draw or a draw versus a loss uh, okay in that kind of situation okay let's take a look at this uh switzerland uh super league huh? so basically there are also two matches these are not banker bet opportunities but they are close to it yeah. okay yeah. so basically opening handicap was 1.5 ball okay and then the opening odds is uh, 2.05. So red color means uh, weak odds, uh, right? Anything above 1.95 is weak odds. Uh, okay. And then remember in some of my previous case studies, I was mentioning if the odds, okay, manifest uh, weak odds just before uh, kickoff, right? Typically, whether it's a three quarter ball drop to half ball, okay, or one ball drop to three quarter ball if everything is all weak odds uh, uh, it's a sign that the bookmaker does not favor the the team uh. in this instance the home team um the bookmaker is not thinking good of the home team 
uh, overcoming the handicap. Uh. That's why um, they, they are actually showing weak odds. Uh. Okay, because if let's say, because weak, uh, the odds before kickoff, this is the most important odd. Okay, because um, probably you'll get like maybe um, at, at a short period of time, maybe like 5-10 minutes, they will get like maybe 30% of the whole whole lump of uh, volume will be based on the last uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, okay so um, that's something important to to take note of <coughs> okay so uh, basically opening odds in favor of the away team odds movement even though it's plus okay it's in favor of home team but then like i mentioned we we take a look at the overall picture i'll explain it in a while okay so <coughs> odds movement in favor of home team and then for this uh, STI formula is marginal home win, okay, meaning likely to win by one goal. Anything above 50 is a marginal home win, okay. 90 and above is a strong home win, meaning likely to win by two goals. 130, super strong home win, likely to win by three goals. So in this instance, they are only likely to win by one goal. And because the handicap is still minus 1.25, so in, in this instance, it's actually in favor of the away team. Goal scoring average 2.33 versus 2.67. So the away team has got the advantage here. Even though the home team actually scored three goals in the last home win, and uh, the away team also didn't do too badly, like they scored two goals. Okay, and then head to head meeting, it was a draw. Okay, a lot of times you see like um, minus 1.5 or to 1.25 only from uh, three quarter ball to half ball. Whenever, um, it's going to be a draw result. Uh, typically, they show this kind of weakness, uh, right? And very interestingly, um, this kind of situation, the team wouldn't wouldn't lose, uh, but they wouldn't win the handicap as well. Uh, you know, a lot of times they actually draw result. Okay, in the handicap table, um, you'll be more in more depth, uh, which I will explain with very very clear case studies for each individual um, handicap uh, transition scenario. Okay, so. Um, so for head to head meeting is in favor of the away team. Uh. So basically, everything points to the away team except for the odds movement, uh, right? Plus 26 cents. But like I mentioned earlier on, uh, because uh, the kickoff uh, time during kickoff time is still showing weak odds, okay? Uh, and that's the reason why uh, you can show that the, the bookmakers are actually offering, um, you know, are likely to see that. The home team wouldn't clear the handicap. Uh. Okay, but if we were to take, take a look at the total goal, uh, you can see that the odds movement from 1.95, 3.25 goals actually transition to 3, three ball handicap and then uh, 1.90 odds plus 18 cents. So very high chance that the, the bookmaker feels that, you know, that's going to have a lot of goals. And in order for the bookmaker to win, there needs to be at least four goals. Uh, right? Because the opening handicap is 3.25 goals. Huh? So basically in this situation, um, everything all, all manifested as in the goal score, okay? It actually meets the criteria of the total goal handicap at 3.25 initial opening odds. And then for odds movement, uh, the home team did, didn't clear the handicap, right? And then the, the head to head result, it was a draw, lah, okay? So this is a pretty clear, clear cut as well. Okay, so look out for the next uh, video. Thank you. Bye-bye.